Psalm 103, verse 17. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon those who fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. Never lose sight of the fact that God is everywhere. We may hear the phrase God forsaken, but we know of no such place. God is everywhere. In the hospital ward, in the surgery, in the airplane, on the sea, when you have to go through that difficult meeting with somebody. On a deathbed, sitting and enjoying a beautiful scene in the country or seaside, at every reunion, at every celebration, at every sorrow. This is the greatest news of all. God is with us. Emmanuel. Ezekiel concluded his eulogy on the New Jerusalem with two words, Yahweh Shema, meaning the Lord is there. After all of his praise of the place, he said that this is the best. The Lord is there. Ezekiel 48, 35. Zechariah told us that when the kingdom comes, we shall recognize the imminence of the Lord in all things. He said this, he said, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day, it shall be the Lord is one and his name one. Zechariah 14, 9 following. Recognizing his presence is dependent upon recognizing his oneness. We don't only see in a glass darkly, as Paul said, but we see life and the world around us in fragments. When he appears, we shall understand the underlying unity of all things, that he is Echad, the one, and that his work reflects his oneness. In his light, we shall see light. Psalm 36, 9. Here is a prayer poem attributed to Levi Yitzchak of Berdichev. You, where I go, you, where I stand, you. Just you, again you, always you, 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 you. When it goes well with me, you. When it goes wrong with me, you. Just you, again you, always you, 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 you. Heaven, you. Earth, you. Up, you, down, you. Where I turn at every end, you. Just you. Again you, always you, 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 you.